Hi, I'm Greg Ellis. I'm back again by reasonably popular demand with another 18 in 18. First up, All right. celebrations. Paolo Dybala, Gareth Bale, C. That was Cristiano Ronaldo, um, Paul Pogba, Antoine Griezmann, uh, Luis Suarez, yeah, um, Daniel Sturridge, Peter Crouch, Tim Cahill, Roger Miller, and Balotelli. Thank you very much. That was passable. U.S. development. In the malaise following the United States' elimination from World Cup contention, knee-jerk reactions reign supreme. However, there is no denying the fact that MLS academies and MLS affiliated academies are beginning to bear fruit. There are 20 free-to-play MLS academies and affiliates. That number will soon rise to 28. Expect more talent along the lines of Kalin Acosta, Paul Ariola, Matt Miazga, Weston mm. McKinney. To Hairstyles. So who has the worst hair in soccer history? Paul Pogba's leopard print mohawk combination was pretty tasty. Wagner loves blue dreadlocks. Rodrigo Palacio obviously doesn't have anyone who loves him or they'd have told him to cut that rat tail thing off. Brazilian Ronaldo's 2002 World Cup do successfully distracted Oliver Kahn in the final, but Bobby Charlton's unsuccessful comb over has it by a hair. Weird, all right? The next Messi. Great news, everyone. We're here at the 18 have discovered the next Messi and it's my son. Other people would recognise his greatness if only his bloody coach would give him more playing time, which he clearly deserves. My son's coach is biased against the next Messi. He's just jealous that his kid isn't as good as mine. In your face, Chad. Mexico. With the USA out of Russia, it's time for America to now throw its support behind... Mexico, of course. Uh, two things you should know about El Tri. They have a lot of fun, young, attacking, exciting players, so that's going to be good to watch. And everybody hates the manager, even though he has a 65% winning percentage. It's going to be great fun. Keep up with me on this one. World Cup. So here's a list of every team that's qualifying for the World Cup so far. Russia, Belgium, Germany, England, Spain, Poland, Iceland, Serbia, France, Portugal, Iran, South Korea, Japan, Saudi Arabia, Nigeria, Egypt, Mexico, Costa Rica, Panama, Brazil, Uruguay, Argentina, and Colombia. So which colleges? College development. So which colleges produce the most talent for our national team programs? On the women's side of the game, no university comes close to matching the University of North Carolina. The Tar Heels have produced over 20 US women's national team players, followed by Santa Clara, Portland, Stanford, and the University of Virginia. For the men, UCLA is king, followed by Virginia, Maryland, Clemson, and Indiana. Yeah. He's probably sure to, yeah. yeah. Soccer movies. Here's a list of all the soccer movies you need to go and see. She's the man, Jean Joe, the soul of Brazilian football. Green Street Hooligans, Escape to Victory. <laughs> Shale in Soccer, Zidane, a 21st century portrait. Bend it like Beckham, the damned United fever pitch. Goal, the dream begins. Goal two, living the dream. And goal three, taking on the world. Uh, no goal. Now this is the goal that sent Panama to the World Cup instead of the United States. To do a goal, the whole ball must cross the line, unless you're Panama apparently. Gabriel Torres was initially given credit for the goal, even though his touch came well before the goal line scrum. Blas Perez did his best to knock it in, but the ball ultimately went out of bounds. What a goal, welcome to CONCACAF. <clears throat> Half time. We're currently receiving mm -hmm. a very high number of calls, so yeah, you may experience a delay. Mm. World Cup expansion. Luckily for the United States, after the 2022 World Cup, 48 teams will qualify, meaning the US men's national team would have to do something really stupid not to qualify. They're going to do something stupid, aren't they? Maybe they'll host in 2026 and we won't even have to worry about it. Um, start again. Women's college soccer. North Carolina has a hegemony, or hegemony depending on where you're from, on women's college soccer, winning 21 of 35 possible national titles since 1982. But who ranks after the Lady Tar Heels? Notre Dame has won three titles nationally, while Portland and UFC have won two each. After that, Florida, Florida State, George Mason, Penn State, Santa Clara, Stanford, and UCLA all have six... No, no, no. NWSL. Bad. Professional women's soccer leagues in the United States had a slow start, but the NWSL appears to have finally found its footing. The Women's United Soccer Association was the first fully professional women's soccer league in 2000, but folded in 2003. Women's professional soccer started playing in 2007, but lasted only three seasons. The National Women's Soccer League finished its fifth season in October, and it appears to be here to stay. Nick. Don't panic. Failed to qualify. It's going to be a sad World Cup without Christian Pulisic, Iron Robin, Henrik Mkhitaryan, Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang, Alexis Sanchez, Arturo Vidal, Gareth Bale, Riyad Mahrez, Miralem Pjanic, Edin Dzeko and Marek Hamsik. We're just going to have to get over it though. Youth Soccer. 
Do you want some more damning United States youth soccer statistics? Back in 2018, 10.4% of children ages 6 to 12 played soccer on a regular basis. That number dropped to 7.7% 7 .7 by 2016. The makeup of this number is also disturbing with regards to the commercialization of youth sports. Time out. 25% of American families have incomes over $100,000 annually, but those families produce a whopping 35% of our youth soccer players. Alternatively, the 25% of families with incomes less than $25,000 a year account for only 13% of youth soccer players. Yes. Right. Robocup. The 2018 Robocup will be hosted in Montreal with hundreds of AI researchers descending on the city with the same goal in mind, bringing forth the day when a team of fully autonomous humanoid robot soccer players complying with the official rules of FIFA can defeat the winner of the most recent World Cup. The good news for the United States men's national team is that particular shame has been safely avoided. Good goal. Goals! Here's a list of the players with the most all-time goals scored. In order, Joseph Bissan of the Czech Republic with 805 goals from 530 matches. Romario of Brazil with 772 goals from 994 matches. Pele of Brazil with 767 goals from 831 matches. Ferenc Puskas of Hungary with 746 goals from 754 matches. And Gert Muller of Germany with... Melanenenensis. <laughs> okay. Freddy Adu. At the age of 14 in 2004, Freddie Adu became the youngest player to appear in a Major League Soccer game with DC United. Since then, he's bounced around a bit to be honest. Real Salt Lake, Benfica, Monaco, Belenenses, Aris, Kakor, Risenspor, Philadelphia Union, Bahir, Yagundina, Cups, Kufu 98 and Tampa Bay Rowdies. Yeah. Soccer words. Here's a few more soccer terms you should know. Back three, flip throw, penalty shootout, sweeper, keeper, fourth official, time wasting, park the bus, ticky tack, and league cup, gag impressing. Just remember those and go and impress your friends. Learn them by heart, look in front of the mirror, and just tell everyone. I've been Greg Ellis, here with the 18, and that was your 18 in 18. That's a lot of 18s.